Hi guys, you are welcome to today's tutorial, which is a complete walkthrough of the animation video maker platform called Doratun. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create stunning animation video using Doratun. If you're ready, let's dive in and see if Doratun is actually worth your time and money. Doratun is a great animation video maker tool with lots of creative and attractive elements. It makes the process of creating animated video far more easier. Doratun can create very delightful animated videos and the video templates are perfect for creating animated YouTube videos, explainer and social media videos. It is a very great tool for telling stories using animated characters. Video maker that can be used to make animation videos, you can use it to make body videos, cartoon videos, presentation videos, resume videos. This particular platform has a whole lot of templates. This is template to reach you have different templates in a whole lot of categories such as the business category education category marketing and sales legal and health hr and training social media multiple posts holiday and events you could actually start from drafts or you could import your powerpoint video once you import your powerpoint video it turns your powerpoint video into a video or if you don't want that one you could actually use any of their element rich templates which can be edited into your own use case now there are different video orientations that will be made you have the horizontal 16 ratio 9 video you have the vertical tiktok videos such as a 9 ratio 16 and then you have the square ads video you could use any orientation which suit the platform that it is going to be useful so let's go to pricing there are three plans we have the basic plan which is zero dollars per month and it is actually free forever the only drawback of this plan is the fact that there is the Doraton watermark in your video so you are going to be able to download a 720p hd quality videos if you're very cool with the Doraton watermark it's actually free you can make your video you have access to all the templates and then you can use it to create your video and then download it so which i think is fine now moving on we have the pro plan which is ten dollars per month and that gives you access to like 250 plus ready made pro templates access to free and pro stock access the Doraton watermark will be removed for this ten dollar and you can download your full 1080p quality video now the pro plus plan is 29 dollars and gives you all of this opportunity for a measly 29 dollars so let's look at other industry competitors now we have Voomly, which is formerly duty basic plan here is actually 19 dollars the Voomly cloud is 49 dollars and the Voomly pro is 79 dollars this is way beyond even the pro plus plan of certain now let's go to video scribe video scribe has monthly plan of 43 dollars and an annual plan of 15 dollars per month now the last one on my list is Powtoon. Powtoon light plan is $50 and it only gives you access to 5 premium exports per month which can be downloaded as MP4. Else you have to go for the professional or the business which costs $190 and $125. Now this shows that Doratun is actually moderately priced when you compare it to all of these industry standards but it gives you the same amount of resource even more than what you get in all of this platform. Alright so moving on to signing up. Signing up you can use your google account you can use your facebook account or you can just use your email and then choose a password Those three sign up options are available for you so i'll sign up with my google account so once i'm signing with my google account it brings me directly to my workbench i have access to all of these templates in order to start all you need to do is come to this create button it gives you the option to that creates a video in the horizontal vertical square or if you want to import powerpoint i'll Go to this horizontal video i'll click on create so here is my up timeline i have different options on this left so i have the scenes i have the templates the background the text the, the characters the props the music so we'll be talking about each and every one of this in a little while so while on this right timeline we have various options for editing all of these properties that we have for the box so let me go to the template if we go to the templates we could choose any template that we want let's just scroll down depending on our use case or anything that we want we will choose anyone that we want let's go to the medical category you can alter your category from here so we have a health business proposal here so let's click on this it's going to pull up all the things and it's going to ask you to choose anything anything that is ticked here you could tick all the things and you could pick the selected things which you want to add from this category once you have done all this so you're just going to click on insert the selected thing page once you click on the insert selected thing page this is my health business proposal which i intend to start editing so in order to start this is the first page of the scene this so if i go to this thing 
here so it's going to give me all the scenes of the page which i can edit individually it shows me scene one of seven so which simply means there are seven scenes in this template so i have the scene one i have the scene two and i have the scene three here so let's go back up scene three scene one is a blank scene so i'm going to delete it you have various options you could actually add a scene you could like this scene and then you could delete it so this scene is 10 seconds and i'm going to delete it right now all the elements of this template of all their templates are easily customizable now just by easy drag and drop method so this health business proposal i can edit it just click on the text area so let's edit it to something that suits our option so i'm just going to edit it to okay so i've edited it to something like health management business proposal so i can click on it and then i'll come to this right hand side so i can reduce i have options for reducing my text or increasing the text size so i have reduced the font size i can reduce i can either increase or reduce the size so you could choose another option you could choose another style other text size orientation and a whole lot of things line spacing and cool so you could change all of these things here once you click on the selected area so if i click on a cartoon character there are also various options of adding either an action you could flip it you could add an animation part i can delete this character if i come to this character section i can add another character to this first scene so let me say i add this character you go drag the character, you can change the size, and then you can change the action of the character. I have the happy action. Now I can change it to angry. It's actually an easily customizable platform. Now I can flip it to change the orientation of the character in order to suit what I'm trying to do. Now if I want this character to go underneath, let's say I brought it here and I want it to go underneath this area so I can just come here once I click on the character I can come here then I'll say move down everything is really customizable by easy drag and drop method so you would remove any of this element you would add and delete anything let's say I have to, I want to delete this stethoscope I can just click on the stethoscope and then press delete now I can come down to this props area and then I can type anything that I want let's say I want a thermometer Okay, so it has given me various options for thermometer and then I'll click on the one I like. It's going to bring it on the timeline. Then I can reduce the size and I can easily move it around. It also has various options for customizing it. You can replace it. You can crop it. You can delete it. You can impute an animation part likewise onto it. So you need to customize each and every one of the scenes by adding the words that you want and a host of other props which you feel goes alongside with it till you get to the last scene so once you get to the last scene you can just come to this publish area then either choose whether you want to export it as a as an mp4 you could change the name the title you could choose the file type either an mp4 or a powerpoint then it's going to have a watermark and the definition is going to be 720p then click on export my created video is now present under my video section so under your videos you could play it we can now play it here all right so this is our created video there is an option for changing the music that is attached to the video creator so just click on this video here are the two watermarks which are present in our created video you could increase the scene time or decrease it depending on what you need all right so if you are okay with it just come to this download section and then it will download your video to your pc so creating an animation video with Doraton is as easy as this. And that's it for today's tutorial on how to create animated video using Doraton. I hope you found this very, very useful. And feel free to leave any comments or question in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more video. And definitely I'll see you in the next video.